Welcome to Solid Edge 2024. I'm Dan Staples, Vice President of Solid Edge R&D at Siemens. I'm joined today by Suda Srikakalapu and John Sutcliffe. Suda and John are both product managers for Solid Edge. We're excited to discuss how you can unleash the power of intelligent product design, and that's at the core of digital transformation. So what is digital transformation? It's the integration of digital technologies into all aspects of your engineering business. But what that looks like can vary by the size of the company. So what does digital transformation specifically mean for small and mid-sized businesses? We sponsored an exclusive study with industry analyst IDC. The focus was SMB manufacturing and digital transformation. We surveyed key decision makers at hundreds of SMBs around the world, asking them about digital transformation, their strategies, plans, and recent progress. The study was conducted at the end of 2021 and previously in 2017, so we can also look at the trends over the past few years. I want to share just a couple of highlights. First, 72% of the advanced SMB surveyed believe that digital transformation helps level the playing field for small businesses versus their larger competitors, even higher than the last time this survey was taken, it was 63%. We asked about their investments during the global pandemic and related disruptions and 80% of SMBs maintained or increased their digital transformation budgets. That's a great measure of how important these investments are. Second, the survey asked about technology priorities. Cloud computing and software as a service, or SaaS, stood out. Nearly a third of SMB manufacturers surveyed said that they were prioritizing cloud computing, software as a service solutions, and nearly half said that these categories would be a technology priority in the next 12 months. IDC notes that cloud is the great enabler for collaboration and analytics. Even smaller companies are leveling the playing field through digital technologies that help them collaborate more effectively. Plastic Fisher is an amazing startup. They're helping the planet be a better place by keeping the oceans clean. Using Solid Edge and collaborating via Team Center Share, they improved design time by 100% and saved 75% in manufacturing time. Those are some big numbers and what digital transformation can bring. We love helping startups and really businesses of all sizes with digital transformation. Siemens is committed to that mission. The investment Siemens has made over the past several years has been just phenomenal. You can see on this slide the list of companies that we've brought into the digital industry software portfolio. We have invested literally more than 10 billion euros over the past several years. And we've become one of the largest and most successful software companies in the world. In fact, Siemens is one of the top 10 software companies in the world. We are also investing in the next generation of engineers through a new program called Hour of Engineering. This innovative program demystifies engineering and promotes it as a desirable career path by providing real-world engineering challenges connected to global goals. It helps students build engineering habits of mind like creativity, systems thinking, and collaboration. We're truly excited to engage with the engineers of tomorrow through this amazing program. From education to startups to even larger enterprises, Siemens Digital Industries is all about helping companies like yours transform into a digital enterprise. And that digital transformation is enabled by Siemens Accelerator. Siemens Accelerator is an integrated portfolio of software and services, and it really blurs the boundaries between traditional standalone domains like electronics, mechanical, and software. It really ties all those together into one seamless whole. And Siemens Accelerator really starts with Solid Edge. Solid Edge is a key part of the Siemens Accelerator portfolio and is focused on the requirements of small and mid-sized manufacturers. Solid Edge enables manufacturers to create a comprehensive digital twin of their products and includes solutions for mechanical design, electrical design, simulation, manufacturing, and publications. It also includes solutions for data management for all the technical data that's created and consumed when supporting the comprehensive digital twin. It facilitates collaboration both within manufacturing companies and with external resources, including suppliers and customers. Solid Edge is truly your on-ramp to digital transformation. And we can help you accelerate that digital transformation with Solid Edge 2024. Unleash the power of intelligent product design. With this year's release of Solid Edge 2024, we continue to push the boundaries of product development. Solid Edge 2024 empowers users to design more intelligently across every aspect of product development. With a continued focus on the user experience and large assembly performance, Solid Edge 2024 introduces functionalities and enhancements to automate and speed design 
as well as collaboration. Here are just a few. Nine times faster graphical performance, AI assembly relationships, great advancements in intelligent dimensioning, and so much more. Solid Edge 2024 is our best release yet. Beta customers have already had the opportunity to experience Solid Edge 2024, and here's what one of them had to say. Each year, Solid Edge gets better and better. Everything is faster. You can definitely feel the excitement from folks like Karsten at Foca, who've had the chance to work with Solid Edge 2024. Our featured customer in this year's release is Subfina from Germany. Subfina produces high-precision, fully automated grinding and honing machinery designed for super-finishing automotive engine components such as crankshafts and camshafts. Let's start with a look at some overall productivity enhancements. These are the things that will definitely make your daily life easier. And we're leveraging AI technologies in the design process to push that even further. Let's take a look with John. John? Thanks, Dan. Let's dive right into this impressive Subfina machine. We'll start by focusing on the polishing tool and fixture for these high-performance motorsport roller bearings. By expanding the assembly features in the Pathfinder, we can see that a hole and cutouts were already added at the assembly level, and they need to be completed with a round and a chamfer. New for Solid Edge 2024 is the ability to reorder the assembly features with a simple drag and drop process, just like we can in an ordered part model. It allows you to move parent and child features together, keeping your model organized. The polishing tool has a 3D printed component that requires two holes to be added. To ensure appropriate fit and assembly for the 3D printed threads, we can define additional clearance values. These can be input as either a percentage or an absolute value. By selecting percentage, the internal diameter will increase by a percentage of the nominal diameter, which is seen in relation to the sketch. Switching to absolute allows the entry of a specific measurement. To finish off the assembly, we'll add a polishing tool to the bottom of the cylinder. Here we'll add a mate and then a planar align. But then when trying to add the final axial align to correctly position it, we see it conflicts with some of the other relationships. Using the new resolve relationship conflict capability, we can easily identify and suppress conflicting relations to resolve them swiftly. This new tool helps streamline part placement and assembly relationship creation. Hovering over the listed conflicting relationships in the dialog highlights them graphically. One or more relationships can be suppressed until the requested relationship turns green and the part is then placed correctly. The improved replace part command now leverages artificial intelligence to predict solutions for replacing a single component occurrence within an assembly. The AI predictions support both planar and axial align relationships and present the solutions in a secondary dialog, allowing us to preview and select the most suitable option before executing the replacement, saving time and effort by not having to manually create relationships. Enhancements to variable table filters provide quick and easy access to filter options, resulting in an efficient experience that reduces both time and mouse clicks. In this example, variables are being used to control the position of the polishing tools and ensure they'll contact the bearing at the correct locations. With numerous variables in the assembly, the results can be filtered by user created, system created, or both. Another great option for filtering is to only view variables relative to the components that are selected. This makes it easy in this case to find the swivel angle variable and make the desired change. And then change the NC axis value to change the vertical height of the polishing tool. Dan, back to you. Super, thanks John. One of the things that you saw was physical thread clearance on 3D printed parts. And it turns out this is really important because unlike manufactured parts, where the standards define the clearance and high tolerances keep things working smoothly, in 3D printed parts you can get clashes that prevent smooth operation. Solid Edge automatically eliminates these, ensuring your printed parts work effectively. You also saw the power of AI in action. With the improved Replace Part command, Solid Edge can now intelligently suggest assembly relationships and predict valid alternative solutions. The predicted solutions are graphically previewed in the design environment and can easily be selected in a pop-up dialog. And in addition to working with your custom designs, the AI-enhanced Replace Part functionality also works with parts from the standard parts catalog and 3D Find It. Really powerful. Here's what Dave Iverson of Ariel had to say about Solid Edge 2024. 
And I love the fact that he said, do more of the fun stuff. And the reality is we are often doing tedious tasks. Let the computer do that. And that's what AI in Solid Edge 2024 can deliver. Let's take a look at some more productivity enhancements in Solid Edge 2024. Over to you, John. Thanks, Dan. Let's look at even more productivity enhancements. Locating the right part has never been easier. Search wildcards are now supported in parts libraries, model view palettes, and the assembly pathfinder. These wildcards provide flexibility when searching and make it far easier to find what you're looking for, even if you only know part of the name. Search results display sub-assemblies and parts in various shades of green for easy identification. With expanded family of parts options, we can now include flat patterns for sheet metal family of part members. This ensures each member contains all the information needed to create drawings and annotations. Once we define the new members, we can see further enhancements to family of parts, which include the ability to set individual material properties per member, as well as control over the suppression state of sketches and etch features. Not seen here, but we can also now handle simplified parts, coordinate systems and reference planes too. Selecting a specific member shows the material change alongside the etch features defined for each specific member. Greater control of selecting objects has been added with new polygon and lasso selection options. This makes many common workflows much easier, like in this case with resizing holes. Using the lasso selection option will select the desired holes and change the size with ease. These selection options are available right through the product in the part, sheet metal, assembly and draft environments. Many designs require handed parts. These symmetrically opposite parts are identical mirrored copies of one another. New streamlined workflow makes it easier and faster to create these left or right handed parts that can remain associative to the original part if needed. With the selection of the mirror plane and a quick save, our new handed part is immediately available for use. And the best part of using the saver's mirrored command is that all the features used for creating the original sheet metal part are carried over minimizing errors when making downstream design changes. The display of bend center lines is also now available in the flat pattern model environment. Here color coding defines the bend direction. Up bends are displayed in blue and down bends in green. The color and style of these can easily be modified to suit your company standards. In Solid Edge Express Route, multiple pipes and tubes can now be automatically trimmed with the help of the new trim tubes command. In this example, after turning on the clipping planes, we can see there's overlap between the main tube and the three cleaning tubes. We can trim these tubes so they join together seamlessly with just a few simple clicks. Simply select the primary and secondary tubes, then Solid Edge takes care of the rest, cutting holes and trimming the ends as needed. Another new capability is the new compact recent documents toolbar. It no longer takes up graphic space, and a single fluid click and drag quickly opens the file we need, saving time and energy. The sheet metal cover requires some modification with the addition of several punched slots, which will locate it in the overall design. Construction bodies have been placed in the sheet metal part to represent the punches used to remove the material. Using the subtract command, we can select the main target body and then quickly and easily choose the solid bodies as the tool step. Unwanted regions left behind as a result of this subtract operation or disjoint regions can be intelligently identified and automatically removed. Hiding the construction bodies, we can see all the internal disjoint regions within the sheet metal part have been removed, making the whole process quick and easy. And back to you, Dan. Thanks, John. Now, obviously Solid Edge has had the ability to create left and right-handed parts for many years, but did you catch the breakthrough here? Optionally, instead of just producing a body, it will create a mirrored part with a fully editable feature tree. This frankly was quite a tough problem and we had quite a few requests for it. So we're super happy to bring this to you in Solid Edge 2024. You also saw a ton of other great enhancements and just to highlight a few. Now Family of Parts not only creates correctly sized bodies based on the parameters, but it also supports material, etches, coordinate systems, sketches, and more. This was a long-standing request that we're very excited to deliver. Lasso selection can be handy in so many circumstances and now it's super easy. An often requested enhancement, the new Trim Tubes command, automatically trims and cuts holes in the intersecting tubes in the assembly environment. It not only supports tubes that butt into each other, but also end connected tubes can be automatically mitered. Variable Table has been really improved, allowing users to access the filters more quickly and easily, saving time and reducing mouse clicks. 
When placing parts, conflicting relationships can now be automatically identified, giving the user the ability to resolve the conflicts easily with a pop-up dialog that displays the issues. And so much more. Matching coordinate systems, reordering assembly features, removing disjoint regions. The list just goes on and on. Daniel Schultz of Kaiser had this to say, Siemens really listens to its customers. And it's true, we do. We really work closely with our customers and listen to how we can make things better. And this has really helped make Solid Edge the great product it is today. Next up is large assembly performance. Solid Edge truly has best-in-class large assemblies. And now it's even better. Better model view performance allows you to view and manipulate even the largest assemblies without lags, stutters, or buffering. New immersive view styles put your models in a real-world environment that automatically updates with model movement for more realism. View manipulation is automatically optimized, allowing users to run the most demanding assemblies at lightning speeds, without loss of detail or the need to adjust settings to hide features, parts, or assemblies. Dynamic viewing is up to 3x faster on single parts and up to 9x faster for very large assemblies. Companies like Hatch are building some of the largest assemblies in the world. And as John notes, the Solid Edge 2024 advancements can have a huge impact on the designers, as much as 30% productivity impact. In addition to the amazing speed improvements, you can also now visualize designs in a real-world background that pans and rotates with your model to create more immersive user experience. As a design is manipulated, graphic effects like reflection, shadows, and lighting are also updated. This creates a more realistic, lifelike representation of the model in its environment. It's just like you're walking around the model in the real world. Next up is Design Configurator, and I want you to pay special attention here because I know so many companies can benefit from this technology. Not only can you configure your own designs instantly, we are now delivering pre-configured conveyors and ladders and other equipment that's commonly used in large machines and plants. What a time saver. Let's take a look. Okay, thank you, Dan. Manufacturers are facing increasing pressure by their customers to offer greater choice and variety, leading to an increase in the number of product variants they need to define, author, and manage. New pre-configured models in Solid Edge Design Configurator allow quick and easy placement of intelligent data sets like ladders, conveyors, and enclosures. This helps to dramatically simplify workflows and improve productivity. In this example, a fully configured ladder assembly is being modified directly within the main assembly environment. There is no need to go back to the sub-assemblies and configure them individually. A secondary ladder is needed to complete our design. After placing the ladder, we can customize the length. Due to the intelligent model's rules, a second section and a safety hoop in the middle are also added. To finish up the assembly, we need to add a final cabinet. The cabinet can be quickly customized inside the main assembly with the necessary dimensions and colors to fit our needs. With access to fully configured datasets such as ladders and cabinets, it has never been easier for customers to get jump started with our Solid Edge Design Configurator. With the new call subassembly command, alongside the place part model and loop action commands, full subassemblies can be placed and configured right on the spot. Using these new workflow model actions, brand new assembly lines can be rapidly built. Here, base conveyors and other necessary components are being added to create the new assembly lines. Solid Edge Design Configurator can automatically calculate the number of conveyors and other components that are needed to match user specifications. By inputting given distance, the software automatically determines the number of conveyors needed. With the last machine added, the new assembly line is finalized and ready to be used. The new ability to read from Excel files and external databases for input data and model actions allows you to automatically complete assembly lines in a fraction of the time. By reading the necessary conveyor placement data from an Excel file, the software instantly configures and completes the assembly line with just one click, as can be seen here. OK, back to you, Dan. Thanks, Suda. Isn't that amazing how quickly those ladders were put in place and they're fully configured in seconds? 
You can really boost design speed using pre-configured models of ladders, conveyors, and enclosures. One of the most requested customer features, pre-configured models downloaded from the Siemens Support Center can now be directly used in the assembly at no cost to Solid Edge Design Configurator users. In addition to all the great Solid Edge functionality you saw for configuring designs, you can also take advantage of Solid Edge Design Configurator Connect. This is a user-friendly web-based configurator that manages the most complex pricing and product configurations, allowing users to configure online in any browser simply and easily and automatically generate sales documentation, including 3D models. Connect your engineering processes with sales and marketing, streamlining design workflows with the new Solid Edge Design Configurator Connect. Michael Orr at Ariel quickly saw the value of Design Configurator and how it leverages your data and knowledge to really streamline assembly customization. He notes that it could be a real big time saver. If like Michael you thought, hey, that Design Configurator can save me time and money, I'm not surprised. It's an absolute productivity booster. And here's the great news. We have a special limited time offer with a 30% off discount for this product, available through January 31st, 2024. Just scan the QR code here for more details or check with your sales representative. Model-based definition, often called MBD, is all about moving the intelligence of the drawing upstream into the model. Why should the geometry be in the model, but critical information like tolerances is in the drawing? When we move all the intelligence to the model, we lower the 3D communication barrier and better convey design intent for downstream manufacturing processes. Here's how it works. Suda? Thank you, Dan. Let's look at how we can intelligently define and annotate 3D models while better conveying design intent for downstream manufacturing processes with Solid Edge Advanced PMI and model-based definition. The improved Auto Dimension tool in Solid Edge Advanced PMI can now be used with one or two datums for more freedom when automatically dimensioning turn parts. Using the new recent documents preview, we will open another bracket that's been partially dimensioned. With the dimension checker command, we'll quickly and easily identify the constraint status of features and parts. The model is automatically color-coded with feature IDs, informing you of the constraint status of features and if they lack tolerance information. In this example, the slot and holes are under constraint and a dimension is missing a tolerance value. By adding the necessary tolerance, Dimension Checker will instantly update with the new status and the Auto Dimension tool will automatically add the missing location dimensions for the holes, improving creation speed. The improved Auto Dimension tool also includes stack dimensions and callouts for slot and oval cutouts. Features chosen in the selected primary, secondary and tertiary planes can be Auto Dimensioned instantly. The Common Model View command allows users to create common model views automatically with existing PMI. With the required views selected, Solid Edge automates view creation. Applying section views to a model view is easy with the enhanced vertical command bar that can be launched from the model view palette. This simplifies editing model views as we can see here, whilst also adjusting the render mode. To clean up the PMI dimensions, we will run the enhanced arrange dimensions command, which provides the ability to arrange coordinate dimensions alongside the linear dimensions. The update model views automatically updates all model views when the model changes or PMI is added or removed. Auxiliary plane indicators can be added, giving us more freedom to annotate the models based on ISO or DIN standards. We can also convey design intent for downstream manufacturing process with 3D PDFs that can be published using templates. You can export PMI views with selected section views and render styles to 3D PDF to streamline the delivery of relevant design information. With new PMI face association, parent faces and section views are automatically highlighted when they're selected in the 3D PDF. For assemblies, 3D PDFs can contain an interactive parts list. On selection, parts are highlighted in the list and graphics window. Associative properties such as author can also be included. Step AP242 and JT files can also be generated and added as attachments within the 3D PDF. 
Interoperability enhancements allows your solid edge files to look the same when opened across the Siemens accelerated portfolio, including NX. The improved PMI association and support for various PMI data provide increased connectivity for downstream applications. Visit the newly added Discovery Center in Solid Edge to get your free 30-day trial for Solid Edge Advanced PMI. Trials for other add-on products are also available. Back to you, Dan. Wow, some really great stuff here, and I suggest that all companies look at this. We recognize that drawings aren't going away anytime soon, but it makes sense to move the intelligence upstream. Why have some of the information in the part and some in the drawing? Let's get to a single source of truth, the model. With 2024, there's some great enhancements here to get you on this path. Auto dimensioning has had a serious upgrade, and the dimension checker really lets you understand if your dimension scheme is complete. And there are many other enhancements, so now's the time to get started with model-based definition. But don't worry, you can move at your own pace, either doing drawings or creating smart PDFs. It's really up to you. I'm always amazed at how some seemingly small improvements can make such a big difference. Ken at Pella was really taken with the new, better layout that the automatic dimensioning provides, a huge help to his team. As I mentioned before, don't worry, drawings aren't going away, and Solid Edge will continue to be the best in the business. But if you're further along in the journey and looking to publish 3D PDFs, then we have you covered. For example, 3D section views are now supported during publish, and you can now graphically highlight items in the PDF and see what's associated. This is really helpful in downstream interpretation. Companies like Kaiser are already on the paperless journey and are seeing definite benefits. Daniel sees some real savings coming as they transition to MBD and smart publishing techniques. We've been talking a lot about core CAD functionality, and that is truly important. But more than ever, collaboration is key to improving engineering productivity. I don't think any of us could have anticipated how distributed our teams would become in recent years. But we definitely have some amazing tools to support this, and this comes in the form of Solid Edge SaaS, where collaboration is built right into your daily work. Let's take a look with John. Thanks, Dan. Fully embedded in Solid Edge 2024, Team Center Share streamlines collaboration with all your team, partners, and customers. Users can now access Share's comprehensive suite of collaboration capabilities completely within the Solid Edge environment. Opening our Subfina Super Finishing Machine from Team Center Share in Solid Edge, we get to work quickly as we look at adding threaded holes to this part we plan to 3D print. Here you'll notice the options to add additional clearance to the threads that we discussed in an earlier demo. Using the built-in data management capabilities, we can check in files to allow other users to make modifications or check out an assembly to ensure exclusive access while we make changes. Again, with Team Center Share fully embedded in Solid Edge, we never have to leave the design environment as we create a project with just a few clicks. With Pack and Go, and the Siemens connector, we can share the sub-assembly directly to Team Center Share. Back in Team Center Share, within Solid Edge, we can open the project and add users to share it. Users can be granted various access levels depending on the type of collaboration needed. We'll grant this user owner rights, giving them complete access to review, edit, delete, or reassign the project. Other access levels include review, review and download, and full access. Opening viewer markup gives us the ability to inspect the data quickly and collaborate with our team members. With the addition of threads, we want to make sure the spacing is still correct. A quick comment starts the conversation, and saving the markup makes it instantly available to our team. Creating tasks has never been easier in Solid Edge, thanks to Team Center Share. After naming the task, users have full control to add descriptions, set priority levels, due dates, and statuses, and can assign the tasks to team members. Tasks can be viewed in a variety of ways, including on your Team Center Share dashboard, or as we see here, in a Kanban board. Dan, back to you. Thanks, John. Great stuff. So you saw how you can access Team Center Share, a comprehensive suite of collaboration capabilities fully in the Solid Edge environment. The complete share web user interface is embedded entirely within Solid Edge 2024, allowing for more streamlined collaboration workflows. The same browser-based experience of Team Center Share, still available anytime, any place, and on any device as before, 
but now Share is also available without leaving Solid Edge. This saves users time by eliminating the need to switch between different application windows. Plus, you can synchronize your Solid Edge design data on your desktop and in the cloud. Automatically installed with Solid Edge, Siemens Connector offers enhanced integration between Solid Edge and Team Center Share, enabling you to work seamlessly with your cloud and desktop data. In addition to the great enhancement of having Team Center Share embedded in the Solid Edge environment, we continue to improve Team Center Share as it supports products across the Siemens Accelerator portfolio. You can now onboard multiple users faster and easier, or share projects and assign tasks and send messages to users not currently associated with the project. Attach notes to a project, files, tasks, and send messages instantly. To support ever-growing file sizes, especially those for simulation files and results, users can now upload files of up to 500 gigabytes each. Additional cloud storage packages up to 100 terabytes are now available. Ren at Sunny Bay really appreciated the improvements we've made to file upload speeds. It's just great to see how much faster it is than other solutions. In addition to Sunny Bay, many other customers are already doing great things with Solid Edge SaaS and built-in Team Center Share, like Craig Hall at Hall Designs. Hall Designs is using the new cloud collaboration capability of Solid Edge SaaS to collaborate more effectively and reduce their design and development time and dramatically streamline their communication with clients. Look at those numbers, 25% improvement in revisions and 80% time savings in sharing of designs. Now that's productivity. Solid Edge Cam Pro has also received a great update. Get faster and more accurate programming with Solid Edge Cam Pro. Let's take a look with Suda. Thank you, Dan. Solid Edge Cam Pro continues to improve productivity by leveraging artificial intelligence to suggest the most frequently used machining options in a new prediction tab. No more hunting for options. The prediction tab is customized for each user. Also new is auto-generate for two axis and 2.5 axis operations. For simple turning operations or for certain 2.5 axis milling, we no longer need to generate the operation. As soon as enough parameters are available to calculate a toolpath, Solid Edge Cam Pro takes care of it. This makes NC programming faster by allowing users to review results quicker. Similarly, any changes that require recomputation are also automatically performed. There is also now support for prime turning. Using either Sandovic prime turn A or B turning inserts, we can quickly, efficiently and safely remove the material from this undercut. Notice how smooth the entrance and exits are, which produces less stress during the cutting and helps the inserts last longer. Solid Edge Cam Pro introduces 3D adapting roughing, which provides the most efficient rough machining possible. 3D adaptive roughing has reliable dynamic holder collision checking when the tool moves within a region or across multiple regions. Tool path generation is faster and bottom-up cutting has been enhanced. We also added a new option to top off flat faces for faster throughput. Moving forward with our success with PostHub, we are now introducing the Cloud Connect tool library. As the name implies, cutting tools are now stored in a cloud database for easy access. Tools and holding devices can be easily searched, downloaded, and modified. Turn milling is a new operation subtype designed to easily machine symmetric and eccentric cylindrical surfaces with high surface quality, precision, and high cutting volume. It is used to pre-cut cylindrical parts before finished machining with other rotary milling operation subtypes. Solid Edge Cam Pro provides cutting edge updates that accelerate machining while bringing the power of artificial intelligence and the cloud to speed your manufacturing processes. Back to you, Dan. Thanks, some real time savers in there. The 3D adaptive roughing means faster programming and more efficient machining while the AI-assisted operation editing predicts the most probable parameters, accelerating programming processes and ensuring accurate repeatability. The new prediction mode will learn from the user's best programming practices to dynamically change and predict user behavior. Cloud Connect Tool Library is a new application that utilizes the cloud and provides a user-friendly, intuitive experience when previewing tools and dimensions. And prime turning is now supported. 
Prime turning is a new methodology which enables turning in all directions resulting in a 50% productivity increase for turning operations. Enhancements in Solid Edge Simulation and SimCenter Flow EFD for Solid Edge increase simulation performance and speed with improvements to meshing, structural analysis, and interoperability. Here's Suda. Okay, thank you, Dan. New for Solid Edge 2024 is the ability to import solid temperature results from SimCenter Flow EFD for Solid Edge into a static simulation study. Here, we see the results of a Flow EFD simulation in a heat exchanger and the temperature distribution of the fluid flow on the parts. Switching to solid edge simulation, we already have a study created with all constraints but without any loads. Using the new import solid temperature function, we can set the load for our simulation study and start the solve. The solid edge simulation study processes the results from flow EFD and solves the calculation. Viewing the results, we can see there are high stresses in the parts as a result of the temperature roll. This interoperability is useful for finding the thermal stresses and deformation in solids, helping understand part behavior and avoiding failures long before real products are manufactured. Solid Edge 2024 also introduces the ability to apply a force to any user-defined point, allowing for greater control of simulation studies. In this example, we have already created a study to show what happens when the component is put under an internal pressure. With some further analysis, we can define some additional loads. An easy way to do this is simply to add a force to a point. We have already defined a sketch, but we will add an additional sketch point that we wish to use in our study. Then select this point to apply the force to. We will set the force direction, solve the study, and then review the results. Finally, we want to look at another function that is very useful for checking more complex models. Our model already has a mesh generated and we wish to analyze the quality of it with the check element quality function. It hasn't always been easy to identify the problematic areas, but now the display of mesh quality checks has been improved to make it easier to identify poor quality areas. This means users can now immediately take the necessary actions to address any problem. Back to you, Dan. Thanks, Suda. Looks great. As you saw, Solid Edge simulation users can now import solid temperature results from a SimCenter Flow EFD analysis into a Solid Edge study. The new option to apply force to any user-defined point, rather than just a mesh vertex, allows for greater control of simulation studies. And the display of mesh quality checks has been improved to make it easier to identify poor quality areas. Finally, the Insulated Gate Bipolar Transistor, or IGBT, compact model is now composed of an electrical element and two resistor component compact models, providing a very efficient representation of the IGBT element. Next, I want to talk about value-based licensing, which is a truly important innovation, allowing you to explore and use a variety of Solid Edge portfolio products at a very low cost. Rather than traditional purchasing of individual products, value-based licensing provides cost-effective bundles of license tokens that can be used to access Solid Edge add-on products on demand. You get instant access to advanced functionality that can be shared across your product development teams on an as-needed basis, and at a much lower cost than buying individual products. Let's take a look at how it works. New for Solid Edge, value-based licensing, a flexible licensing option to help you with the challenges of a rapidly changing development environment. This approach allows you to discover new Solid Edge add-on products while increasing flexibility for you and your team. Let's have a look at how value-based licensing works starting with the base application, Solid Edge Classic or Premium. Value-based licenses offer a fully flexible environment in which users can explore different functionalities. Companies acquire a set of tokens which allow the running of a wide array of applications. Tokens are available in yearly subscription packs that make the add-on products available as a single shareable bundle. Tokens can be checked in and out to allow for maximum flexibility. Each add-on product consumes a defined number of tokens when in use. 
the total number of applications and which specific applications that can be checked out is limited by the number of tokens users have available. Value-based licensing is even more flexible when combining multiple users, each with their own desktop instead of tokens. Just imagine, a worker is confronted with a maximum token limit. By having a joint token pool, the limitation is automatically lifted as he or she is able to claim unused tokens from a colleague. In this context, it's also perfectly possible for users to use the same application simultaneously, as long as the token maximum isn't reached. Value-based licensing gives you the ability to manage costs, discover new applications, and easily scale your business. In many cases, the total investment is less than individual licenses, yet the flexibility dramatically increases, regardless of whether the modules are used daily or occasionally. Value-based licensing, new for Solid Edge, offers a truly flexible, cost-effective, simple-to-scale approach that reduces risk over time and encourages users to maximally explore new possibilities. I think you're really going to like value-based licensing. Look at the list of products here. These are all valuable products, but are you going to use each one every day? What if you could just mix and match and decide what you want to use at any time? without having to buy all the individual products. Well, now you can. Generative Design Pro, Point Cloud Visualization, Solid Edge Simulation Advanced, and all the others you see here are all available through value-based licensing. I think you can see how this can add a whole new dimension of flexibility and access to your product usage. Tokens are available in yearly subscription packs of 25 and 50 that make the add-on products available as a single shareable bundle. Tokens can be checked in and out to allow for maximum flexibility. Users can mix and match the add-on products as needed within their permitted token allowance. It's really the ultimate in flexibility and will give you access to technologies you never thought possible at an unbeatable price point. In addition to all the wonderful enhancements you've seen in Solid Edge itself, the Siemens Accelerator portfolio is the most powerful in industry. And with Solid Edge, you can connect to the many other powerful applications that are part of Siemens Accelerator, like NX and Team Center. Let's take a look at how Solid Edge and Team Center work together closely in a product configuration scenario. John? Thanks, Dan. Engineering complexity explodes as products become more complex, product cycle times become shorter, markets and manufacturing go global, and customers demand more choices and customization. Companies need a solution that enables them to manage this complexity from product inception through to manufacturing in a simple way that enables reuse and commonality and eliminates engineering cycles on products that will never be offered on the market. Team Center and Solid Edge are industry leading solutions that address these challenges with tight integration. This hand drill assembly has been configured with product family members using Team Center Product Configurator. We're seeing the full 150% bill of material, and if needed, we can apply a variant which updates the bill of material accordingly. In this case, the hand drill has been configured with three variants. Once opened in Solid Edge, we get the options to load a 150% unconfigured bill of material, or we can select a product variant which loads a 100% bill of material. We'll select the standard basic variant from the product family and load it in Solid Edge. All the components associated with this variant are loaded. We can verify this by expanding the subassemblies to visualize the components associated to this standard variant. The list of product variants defined in Team Center can be viewed and the active variant currently loaded in session is highlighted. All information is synchronized between Team Center and Solid Edge. We have full control whether we want to load a different variant, load more than one variant to provide us a 120% bill of material, or load all variants to create the 150% bill of material. If needed, we can edit any variant as we have full read-write access. We'll load the gold variant, then edit the battery subassembly to make some changes. Here we'll reposition the label component in the correct location using the appropriate assembly constraints. Dan, back to you. Thanks, John. It's great to see that tight integration. Team Center Product Configurator, which enables users to create variant configurations of assemblies, is now fully embedded in the Solid Edge environment. This allows you to take full advantage of the digital twin by using common variability thread for highly complex products. Powerful impact analysis technology is also available across the product suite. 
We've also significantly upgraded our interoperability with NX. Changes to PMI and Solid Edge will now automatically update in NX. And the PMI from the Solid Edge files look the same when it's opened in NX. Support for stacked annotations, center marks, center line, bolt hole circles, and more is now available. Additionally, assemblies created in Solid Edge that contain internal components now open correctly in NX. We've also expanded interoperability and collaboration between other parts of the Siemens Accelerator portfolio. For example, Technical Publications and Solid Edge Inspector are both integrated into Team Center Share. And Solid Edge Inspector now fully integrates with Op Center and Team Center Quality. At Group Seb, longtime Solid Edge user Olivier believes that these interoperability functionalities and others across the Siemens Accelerator portfolio give him and his team the right solution to meet their current and future design challenges. Not only does Solid Edge work great with other parts of the Siemens Accelerator portfolio, it also works great with data from external sources. So whether you're switching from another CAD system or reusing legacy design data or working with suppliers, Solid Edge makes working with third-party files as easy as native data. If you're working with customers or suppliers that use a different CAD system, CAD Direct is going to save you a lot of time. Rather than translating the file and having an intermediate file to keep track of an update, with CAD Direct you're using the design file directly. So you can, for example, directly assemble a SolidWorks file into a Solid Edge assembly. And because this is so powerful, we've expanded the lineup of systems that CAD Direct supports, now including Inventor, Creo, Katia, and Asus. If you haven't incorporated CAD Direct into your workflow, now is the time. And for those of you migrating from other systems to Solid Edge, we've continued to make our best-in-class tools even better. Those of you coming from SolidWorks and Inventor will see even more complete and easier to use tools than in the past. We've also enhanced many of our other data sharing pathways, such as STL, Creo, and even 2D. Solid Edge 2024 is our best release yet. We're excited to bring you all the new functionalities and enhancements because we know they'll help streamline your productivity. But don't just take my word for it. Throughout this presentation, we featured Subfina's Race Neo Super Finishing Machine. Let's see what Marcus Mueller at Subfina thinks about Solid Edge 2024. We at Subfina are specialists for super finishing and any high precision surface. We design solutions for our worldwide customers, especially for the automotive and bearing industry. With our experience and the help of Solid Edge, we can meet our customer demanded requirements. We are using Solid Edge now for 23 years and it's a critical component of our success. In my opinion, the standout features of the new release are large assembly performance, cloud collaboration via Team Center Share, and the usage of AI-powered design tools. Subfina assemblies are large and complex because we use them as a digital mock-up. With the new release, we are able to visualize, pan, zoom, and rotate our large assemblies five to nine times faster. Also, we plan to use Team Center Share to communicate more easily with our suppliers and external design offices. This certainly works with a great redlining and Kanban task management. AI enhancements, especially in the area of synchronous technology, make Solid Edge easier to use. For us, that means save time for ideas and reduce unproductive work. Thanks, Marcus. As we finish up here, I want to remind you that there are now two ways to buy Solid Edge. You can, of course, continue to buy Solid Edge in its traditional or perpetual form. But Solid Edge SaaS is now available as well, with its expanded cloud based collaborative set of tools and value based licensing. If you haven't yet looked seriously at Solid Edge SaaS, now is the time. To learn more about Solid Edge SaaS and the benefits it can provide your company, please reach out to your Siemens partner for additional details. To learn more about Solid Edge 2024 and the benefits it can provide your company, visit us at Siemens.com solid-edge-2024 or scan the QR code shown here. I also encourage you to join the Solid Edge Community Forum and talk to your fellow users. Explore. Browse our different blogs dedicated to each solution, read our articles, and hear about the latest news. Share. Expose your question in the forum, obtain answers, exchange with others, and benefit from their experiences. Learn. Find the information you need in the knowledge base and increase your skills. It's easy to get engaged. Just go to 
community.sw.siemens.com. Help us create the next generation of engineers by spreading the word about Hour of Engineering. Share this program with your family and friends, your local schools, local boys and girls clubs. It's engaging, it's fun, and it's free. And for those of you that haven't tried Solid Edge, I encourage you to do so now with our free 30-day trial. It's a full access trial and you can access it at siemens.com slash try dash solid dash edge. Solid Edge 2024 empowers users to design more intelligently across every aspect of product development. With the continued focus on the user experience, large assembly performance, and design productivity, Solid Edge 2024 will help you automate and speed design and collaborate more effectively. I can't wait to see what you do with it. Solid Edge 2024 is available for download now. If you have any questions or comments, please type in the chat window. Our team of Solid Edge experts are on standby to answer your questions. Thank you for joining us today.